Hello friends, welcome back to the Active Geology channel. I am the engineer Luis Montlova. Today I bring you this video in which I am going to talk to you about the types of rocks. Let's get started. The Earth's surface is made up of different materials, including soil and rocks. Today I am going to explain to you what are the main types of rocks. A rock can be defined as a solid which originates naturally and is composed of a combination of inorganic. Depending on the association of minerals that are had, the rocks will have a different composition and therefore a different origin. The geologist studies the association of these minerals in order to classify the rocks that I am going to explain below. The best known rock classification divides rocks into three types. Igneous or magmatic rocks, sedimentary rocks and finally metamorphic rocks. The igneous rocks come from a magma. The magma is a fluid formed by molten rock that lies inside earth, which tends to rise to the surface even to expulsion. This happens when volcanoes erupt. When magma reaches areas of the Earth's surface it begins to cool and therefore to crystallize and solidify, thus generating magmatic rocks that, depending on the cooling, whether slow or fast of the magma, of the area in which they solidify, can be subclassified the igneous rocks in two groups. Plutonic and Volcanic Rocks Plutonic or intrusive igneous rocks originate when magma cools slowly and at great depth in the Earth's crust. These rocks are characterized by having large minerals that can be observed with the naked eye or with the help of a magnifying glass. The main plutonic rocks are Granite, it is an igneous rock of different colors and can have gray, white or pink depending on the minerals that compose it, among them it can have quartz, feldspars and micas. Gabbro, a dark rock, because its composition is mainly ferromagnesium minerals, which are difficult to distinguish. This type of rock is generated mainly in oceanic ridges. The volcanic or extrusive igneous rocks are those that have been thrown to the Earth's surface by the eruption of active volcanoes, in this case the cooling of the magma occurs very quickly which does not allow time for the crystals of the minerals to grow therefore, in this type of rock the minerals cannot be observed with the naked eye. If you want to know the mineral composition of these rocks, you must use a petrographic microscope. The main types of extrusive rock are Rhyolite, which is the extrusive example of granite, is a grey to pink rock with a mineral composition of feldspars, quartz and micas. Basalt is the extrusive example of gabbro, it is a rock that has a dark color and is generated mainly in oceanic ridges. Pumice is an extrusive igneous rock of light color that is full of many holes which are formed by the amount of gases that the magma had at the time of the eruption. Obsidian is a shiny black rock, although it can become brown and even transparent, it does not have a crystalline structure. The second type of rock that will talk to them are sedimentary rocks, these rocks are formed by the accumulation of sediments coming from weathering, erosion, transport and consolidation of sediments from any kind of rock that is on the surface, the accumulation of these rocks occurs mainly in layers that in geology we know as strata. Sedimentary rocks are mainly classified into two types, detrital rocks and chemical sedimentary rocks. Detrital rocks are formed by the accumulation of sediments that, as I already told you, come from the erosion of rocks exposed to the surface and are generated by a cycle that we call the sedimentary cycle. The main detrital sedimentary rocks according to their grain size are Shales are those very fine-grained sedimentary rocks composed of silts and clays, they have a laminar structure. Sandstone with a slightly larger grain size, you can already distinguish the sediments with the naked eye, they are mainly composed of quartz and smaller amounts of feldspars and clays. Finally, the coarsest grain detrital sedimentary rocks are conglomerates or breshes, which are characterized by having large grains embedded in a matrix of sediments of much smaller size. The other type of sedimentary rocks are chemical sedimentary rocks, which originate from the precipitation of dissolved minerals that are transported and concentrated in a basin that allows the accumulation. The main chemical sedimentary rocks are 
limestone is a rock formed mainly by precipitate of very fine grains of calcium carbonate or calcite, generally containing fossils of aquatic organisms. Other types of chemical sedimentary rocks can be rock salt or halite and also gypsum. The last but not least group of rocks are the metamorphic rocks, which are generated by the subjection to high pressure and temperature of any type of rock. When the environmental conditions in which the rocks are found change, they are no longer stable and they begin to transform to be able to adapt to the new conditions of pressure and temperature, we geologists know this as metamorphism. Depending on the external appearance of metamorphic rocks, they can be classified into two main types. The first are the lamellar metamorphic rocks which are generated by the mineral composition mainly of micas that the mineral B-shaped laminar layers generate species with planes of weakness which can be separated and easily broken. The best known laminar metamorphic rocks are Slate, it is the one with the least degree of metamorphism, this rock is separated into thin sheets, they are of variable colors, but mainly black, they have a shiny surface due to the presence of microcrystals. The schist has a higher degree of metamorphism, it can be observed with great brightness due to the greater growth of microcrystals, in this case the sheets can be seen deformed and minerals such as garnet, andalusite, kyanite and storolite are obtained. Finally, gneiss is a rock that is banded where dark or ferromagnesian minerals are separated from light minerals such as quartz and feldspars. The second group of metamorphic rocks are crystalline, these rocks do not have sheets, they are characterized by breaking irregularly without separating into sheets, they are generally homogeneous and composed of few minerals. The best known crystalline metamorphic rocks are The marble that comes from the metamorphism of carbonate rocks such as limestone and dolomite can present various colors and even veins of different shades. Finally, quartzite that come mainly from the metamorphism of quartz sandstones, its main mineral component is the quartz presents different colors that go from white to pink is a very hard rock and resistant to weathering. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and give the bell to activate the notifications and so you are aware of everything that I am publishing about geology, that was all for today see you in the next episode of Active Geology.